Hello, welcome back. I'm Byron. I am about to lose Sidmir's Civilization 3 Conquests. I'm about to lose as the uh, Anglo Saxons in the Rise of Rome campaign. Uh, I may beat the Western Romans, but the Eastern Romans are going to win. One, I know that because it's pre-recorded, and two, it's it's fairly obvious. And there go the Western Romans. So, unless someone can knock out the Eastern Romans in a couple turns, they're going to win. I don't think I ever played as the Anglo-Saxons. And this is not a good start. Well, while you watch me lose, let's go on to today's top 10 list. And today's top 10 is top 10 foods. I'm, I'm, I'm very fat on the inside. I'm sort of slim on the outside, but I'm very, very fat on the inside. It's tough for my face. I have a fat face, but my body is sort of slimmer. Uh, anyway, number 10 is tacos. Very good. Uh, I love the... I don't like so-called real tacos. I like the Taco Bell tacos. With with the, the crunchy crust. Because if you get the soft crust, it, it turns into a burrito. It doesn't really stay as a... Uh, As a taco, the soft crust sort of folds in on itself and it just turns into basically a burrito. Which doesn't make any sense. If you want a burrito, get a burrito. If you want a taco, get a taco. Uh, the Taco Bell is the, the 12 pack for 10 bucks. I get that sometimes. It's very tasty. And number 9 is pizza and it's just the pizza sort of the same as tacos and that the Italian version is much different than the I guess American version but I like the American version better and pizza is I think one of the best foods ever made uh, I've organized this list sort of differently than that but if I organize it as one of the best foods period given it's cheap it's tasty and it's fairly good for you if you come across with these three criteria, cost, taste, and health, I think in the in an amalgam of those three, pizza's probably number one. Because it's got just a bunch of stuff that's good for you in it. The, the tomato sauce is what makes it good for you, which isn't like the best thing in the world, but it's still fairly healthy compared to, you know, ground beef and cheese and cornbread which is what tacos I guess they have lettuce but I, I always get the taco without lettuce oh but they do have the uh, Little Caesars used to have where they replace the tomato sauce with cheese sauce and it tasted so much better I have to admit um, number eight mashed potatoes also very good They're, you gotta put a lot of butter into mashed potatoes, and they taste great. Uh, I don't know what the deal is with that diplomacy bug, where it makes that, where the music stops and it makes that beep. Number seven is like Garfield. I love lasagna. It's basically the same stuff as pizza. 
but it's better. It's just better. It's more expensive, but it's worth it. I'll make a family lasagna, and I'll eat that in like a day, and that'll be like just what I eat in a day. <laughs> it's that big family lasagna. I mean, I won't make it from scratch. I buy it at the Kroger's and bake it. And I will do the same with number six, mac and cheese. That is not like pizza. It's just the pasta and the cheese. It gets rid of the tomato. It gets rid of the meat. It's just the best parts of the pizza and the lasagna, the bread and cheese. Oh, am I about to get Rome? That's the hard part, is getting these victory po points. Because the other people will sort of rush into them. <sighs> Those are the Huns. Very interesting to watch. Hagia Sophia. Well, it takes them that long to build the Hagia Sophia because I think they start out basically right at the the Rome fights back part of the tech tree. It should not have taken them that long to build the Hagia Sophia. Well, maybe not. Where are we in the game? Maybe. Maybe I don't know where we are in the game. I know it's about to end, so I'm thinking of it's near the end of the game. But it may be closer to the beginning because of when the Eastern Romans win. Ah, and we just passed into the Roman fights back here. And there's the Hagia Sophia. See, they're, they can't be that far behind. They must have, but that word I just clicked on, Christianity, that's where the Hagia Sophia is. Uh, I just don't think they could be that far behind. Of course, they, they may not have beelined it. I don't really know how I made the decision so quickly. I guess maybe I didn't care, because I know the game's about to end. I wonder if I check the victory point screen soon. Anyway, number five, bacon and eggs. I love breakfast. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to eat breakfast for dinner, and that was my favorite dinner. Was breakfast for dinner because you have bacon and eggs and other various breakfast things. What are some other pancakes? Those are good. They didn't make the list, but bacon, eggs, pancakes. Um. I made some eggs the other day. My parents used to make me, basically, pour out the bacon, a little bit of the bacon grease before I made the eggs. They wouldn't let me cook the eggs in the whole bacon grease. But for the first time, a few a few weeks ago, I did it. I, I left all of the bacon grease from the pack of bacon in the pan. And uh, I put the eggs in there, and I, I'm pretty sure I made a mistake, because the entire egg started to fry. The entire bit of the eggs started to fry. Just shh. Both sides because the, they fell in and, and they sort of floated on the grease. And the grease came around and just every bit of the egg just started to fry right away. And that grease was delicious. Uh, of course, when I make, I always make two eggs. I lost the game. I lost the game. Out of a dozen eggs, I will take three of the eggs and separate them. I'll put nine complete eggs in one, plus three egg yolks. And then separately, I'll have 
three egg whites and cook those. Because egg whites are good, but the scrambled eggs are better with a bit of extra yolk. I need to start getting egg whites when I go to the McDonald's again because I am I am gaining weight in my face again. If because that's the way to lose weight is dieting. Exercise really doesn't do much. You have to diet. And I think switching to egg whites is a pretty good way to do it, especially when you're not just eating the eggs. When you're eating egg like an egg biscuit or something, something that's where egg is a part of it. I think you should go for the egg whites, but if you're just eating scrambled eggs, then go for the whole thing. Oh, look at that. The Persians had most of the best cities. Anyway, here we go again. I turned less aggressive, yeah, onto the, uh... the AI so they wouldn't attack me as quickly. Oh, but I forgot to hit random sieve. Anyway, number four. F food number four is fries. Just speaking of fried things, fried potatoes. If you are what you eat, I think I am a fried potato. Because that's the thing I eat most in this world. If I'm out and I'm hungry, but I, I, I don't want to spend a bunch of money eating, I want to wait till I get home so I can cook something, I would typically stop in and just get some fries to hold me over. Oh, uh, there's the Franks that uh, I've won as the Franks. They're the ones I go with when I can pick. It may be fun to play through this just as France every time it's possible. Because there's this one. Well, I guess, how many are there? There's this one, the Middle Ages, Age of Discovery, and Napoleon, I think. Those are just four of them. I want to have the Mesopotamia, Rise of Rome, Mesoamerica. Japan and World War II in the Pacific and France isn't any any of those. So there's only four that have France in it. Vive la France. Okay, so fries are delicious. Uh, I like fries. The best fries are the ones that don't need ketchup. But some of them you put ketchup in, and they're good. Also, when I eat hot dogs, uh, you never mix ketchup and mustard. That's wrong when you eat a hot dog. What you do do, what I do, is whenever you eat a hot dog in a bun, you use mustard. But whenever you eat just the hot dog, you use ketchup. That's my theory. So, number three is cheesesteak. I love cheesesteak. It's delicious. I wonder how repetitive I'm being. But it's... Of these foods, it's probably the most expensive. And I like proper whiz on my cheesesteak rather than anything else. Around here, the best place to go is Penn Station for some cheesesteak. I 
wonder if anyone else has them. The cafeteria at work sometimes has cheesesteak. And with cheesesteak, the, the cheaper and slimier and greasier, the better. So you, you don't want expensive cheesesteak. You want the cheap stuff. Because that's the best cheesesteaks. Anyway, number two is cereal. Oh, I will eat cereal twice a day. At least. Not anymore, but I used to. I, I need to start again. Because it's good for you. I don't know. Um, I used to get very upset when I couldn't eat my cereal before I had to start the day. And, uh, my parents, my mother especially, would make special accommodations for me because of how upset she knew I got, even well after I stopped caring that much. And, uh... Yeah. I think, yeah, I'm going to connect the iron. That's the hardest part of these scenarios, is getting the resources you need. Luckily, they, uh, they start all the same. So you can sort of cheat and restart and get to the resource you need. There is... In the World War II scenario, uranium, and I, I kept playing that, and it makes me just memorized where in the U.S. the uranium was, and I built a road to it before I actually discovered it on the tech tree. Number one, number one food is a freeway from Skyline. Um, it's great, and people don't really understand it that much. It's a special kind of chili that you put on your spaghetti. Uh, you don't put regular chili on spaghetti. You put the special. Uh, Cincinnati style chili and it is indeed chili because it has chili powder that's what makes something chili it come, there are pieces of chili pepper in it and shredded cheese delicious there's no skyline in Lexington but there's a uh, gold star anyway that's been my favorite foods and We'll be back later.